let's talk about iOS and turn it up to 11. We have a lot to talk about, the iMessage apps and stickers. And now in iOS 11, we're making them more discoverable than ever with this redesigned app drawer. You can bring them up, scroll through them, and tap into any app. Now the big story with messages, though, is messages in iCloud. Well, all of your conversations are automatically synchronized. And that's Apple pay for person-to-person -person payments. So you can send and receive money right in your transcript. And of course, when you send it, you authenticate securely. Next, let's turn to Siri. We've used deep learning now to create a really natural and expressive voice for Siri, and I'd like you to hear it. Here's the forecast for the next 10 days. Sunny, sunny, and sunny. So Siri has a great new visual interface as well. And it's able to provide you with follow-up questions and answers with just a tap. Now, Siri also has a new capability, just translation. And Siri can say, Totally. Siri Kit can now do more than ever. You can do task management, make notes in Evernote, do banking in City Mobile, or even bring up a QR code. It understands the context. Give us a time to leave notification based on our calendar and where we are, and even help us make a calendar appointment based on something we've just booked inside of Safari on the web. We're using HEVC, which is giving us up to two times better compression for camera captured videos. And we're applying these same techniques to replace JPEG capture with what we call HEIF, high efficiency image format. It's based on HEVC and it also provides awesome quality images at half the size. And we're taking the depth information that we can capture with two cameras and exposing it to developers with a new depth API, which has allowed them to do incredibly fun and artistic photos like this Photos app. And now it can do more than ever. It uses a machine learning to identify things like sporting events, even weddings, anniversaries, but now watch them in portrait, taking full advantage of the height of your display. So you can now trim your live photos, the video around the still, you can mark any part of the video as your key photo and so much more. And what you'll notice is Control Center is now a single page. Now, of course, it has simple switches. I'll just do an orientation lock so you can adjust volume like this. 3D touch in on slider like this and get access to more controls. I get access to even more features. I can actually now swipe back down. I'm actually on my lock screen seeing those notifications, but I can get at all my other notifications just by scrolling up. And sometimes the best shot wasn't the still. Well, now we can go into edit mode. We could trim this video if we want, but we also can capture just the frame we want and make that our key photo. This girl blowing a bubble, but wouldn't it be greater, greater if she could just keep blowing that bubble? But wouldn't it be better if it bounced? Go into the effects here and select long exposure. Now what's great is I can also rotate my phone now we can see it mentions certain locations in Iceland. I think this one is called Snifelsness. There it is, Snifelsness. Enhanced information for when you get there to the mall. So we have detailed floor plans now, directory and search, and we let you browse by floor. And we're also bringing the support to air, major airports. You can see where security is so you can plan all of these airports to start and again, building out more over time. So now in the upper left, you can even see your speed limit. I hope you're paying attention to that. And Lane guidance, so you know which lane to be in to make your next move when navigating. Do not disturb while driving. Do not disturb while driving. That you're not receiving notifications while you're driving. But of course, you might be sitting in the back seat, in which case you can tell us I'm not driving, you can get through. You can also enable select people to break through if it's especially urgent. You can have the peace of mind that you can get contacted, and they can reply urgent, and that message will go through. Next up, HomeKit, and that's speakers and access them via our new AirPlay 2 protocol. It builds multi-room audio in throughout iOS. And with Apple Music, we have a new feature called Share It Up Next. Maybe your friend wants to contribute to that playlist. Well, they can do that. All these speaker makers have announced upcoming support for AirPlay 2. Your Apple TV can be played to from your iPhone or iOS device and Mac anywhere in the home. And of course, if you turn on your Apple TV, it can control playback home-wide, including using Siri. We're providing a great developer API, so third-party audio apps and iOS can all get in on the multi-room audio fun. So now, in Apple Music, you'll see indicators if this is music your friends are listening to. We're also providing a new API, Music Kit, for Apple Music. Full access to the Apple Music service, both on device and from your cloud service. The App Store. We're going to completely redesign it. A brand new App Store. It's going to be such a great place for customers to discover your apps every single day. Games, the biggest area of the App Store has its own dedicated space now. And since games have their own tab, now apps have their own tab. The first thing I see is our top story. Let's check it out by tapping on the card. Our redesigned app page. It's more beautiful and more useful. Now Metal 2 and HEVC are coming to iOS as well. But there's more, and it starts with machine learning. And we're doing it via a set of new APIs. Starts with the Vision API, which provides face tracking, face detection, landmarks, all of these core features we use inside of our apps. 
and a natural language API that provides capabilities like tokenization and named entity recognition. Core ML provides high performance implementations of deep neural networks, recurrent neural networks, convolutional neural networks, support vector machines, and we have a new core technology called ARKit to bring it to all of you. And I'd like to show it to you in a demo now. We've got some, some steam in there coming off the cup. Now I can add other objects to the scene and these things can actually interact. Let's add a lamp. And I want you to watch when I turn the lamp up on the dynamic shadows here. ARKit, the largest AR platform in the world. And we got him. Ooh. 